Hi, it's Charlie here from Radio.co and today we will be looking at five of the best microphones for live broadcasting and pre-recorded shows. So let's get to it. So this is the Blue Spark and this is visually quite different to the other audio condenser microphones that we will show to you later on. So what makes this microphone stand out is that it's got a really large diaphragm so it can pick up a really wide range of dynamic vocals. So from high to low it will pick up everything whilst avoiding audio peaking. So a really interesting feature of the Blue Spark is that it's got a focus button. So when you press it, it will reduce the low-end sensitivity and increase the high-end sensitivity, which basically means it will be much clearer and it'll add a really nice layer of richness. One of the best things about the Blue Spark is that it comes with a pop shield and a shock mount, so you are ready to go straight out of the box. So this mic is perfect for voiceovers and it is really popular with podcasters as well, so you've probably seen it on YouTube occasionally. We have recorded a little clip with each microphone and this is exactly how the Blue Spark sounded. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. Next we have the Behringer B1, which is a budget studio condenser, but is surprisingly good value. So the best thing about the B1 is that it adapts to its environment because it's got set frequency and sensitivity levels. For example, the flat line on this microphone is really good at capturing spoken words, so it gives it a little bit more headroom when you change it to minus 10 decibels. It gets rid of the excess noise in loud environments, so it just stops it from peaking too much. The Behringer B1 and all of the other microphones in this video operate with phantom power. So you wouldn't be able to plug this microphone into your computer or camera just because there's not quite enough voltage there. You would have to plug this directly into a mixer or an audio interface which is capable of giving it the power that it needs. The B1 works really well as a starter microphone in a home studio setup. It just gives you a really nice crisp sounding piece of audio that's really hard to beat. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. So the B1 is a really good starter microphone in a home studio setup. It gives a really nice crisp sounding piece of audio for a low cost, which is why we think it is really great. Perfect for live broadcasts and really good for home studio recordings as well. The WA87 is a reproduction of the classic Newman U87, but at a quarter of the cost. So it's commonly used in live radio, music and voiceovers due to its wide range. So this microphone is really solidly built, so you can knock it around a bit without making a single scratch on it, but when it comes down to the audio, it is fantastic. You don't need to put it through a load of post-production or mixers to get the good quality because it just does it straight up. So the cool thing about the WA87 is its amazing performance. It takes all the best bits from the iconic 87 and absolutely nails it. So the final verdict of this microphone is that it is great for slightly more advanced home setups. The sound quality and the build are superb for the price and we have actually reviewed this microphone. So have a look in the description below but this is what it sounds like. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. So the Electro Voice RE320 is exceptionally versatile and it is actually used by most of the commercial stations here in the UK as well as the US. So I use this microphone on a daily basis myself and it is fantastic. It's perfect for when I'm doing a show live on MCR Live, but it's also really good for when we have people in to do live sessions in the studio as well. Now there's two settings on this microphone. You've got the flat setting for spoken word and contour for musical instruments. So like I said, perfect for a radio show or for a live session. Check the description below because you can find a link to the acoustic session that we did using the Electro Voice over at MCR Live. This microphone is really good for if you want to get rid of a bit of background noise without losing any of the detail in the audio. For example, at MCR Live, the studio is around quite a few of offices, so if you're standing in there alone, you can hear different conversations happening, but the microphone doesn't pick any of it up. Another thing with this microphone is you don't need to process the audio because it sounds amazing when you are broadcasting live or pre-recording without doing any editing afterwards. Overall, the Electro Voice is a really light and easy to use microphone. It reduces the background noise, it gives you really bright high-end and punchy low-end audio while maintaining a really nice natural tone, and this is what it sounds like. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. The Newman TLM 103 is one of the best and most well-rounded studio condenser microphones available. It's widely used by radio professionals such as Howard Stern and a lot of local radio stations here in the UK as well. The TLM 103 microphone features design elements that make Newman such a trusted brand. So for example, the cardioid mesh body will reject any sounds coming in from around the outside. So from speaking from the side of the microphone, it will not pick it up. 
It uses a transformerless circuit which cuts out any background hiss. Aside from being a great vocal microphone, it also has the ability to capture very high quality audio. For example, Jack White from The White Stripes uses this microphone for his guitar rig when he's at concerts, so it is perfect for using if you have any live sessions in your studios. The Newman TLM-103 allows home studio users to get the kind of audio quality that was once reserved for commercial radio studios. It's a great microphone which delivers a really professional and high-end quality audio and this is what it sounds like. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. Radio.co is the easiest way for you to start a radio station. Now that you have heard each microphone individually, let us know what you think. Get in touch in the comments below and tell us what microphone you use as well. Remember, if you need any help or advice on anything that you have seen on our videos, be sure to get in touch with a radio.co expert at studio at radio.co.